Peace be upon you all guys around the world. In this video I'm going to do this exercise. We already done a bunch of exercise in Python. You're going to find all the links, all the links in description. And also on our website, uh, you're going to find much more there with the source or source code of course. So let's just jump into the this exercise. Uh, as you see on the screen, calculate income tax for the given income by adhering to the below rules. So we have to apply these rules. Uh, as you see here, the tax able income rate in percentage. First ten thousand uh, dollar gets gets just zero percent, and the next ten thousand uh, dollar ten percent, and the remaining twenty percent. So the expect output, as you see here, they give us example. For example, suppose that the the tax able income is $45,000 the income tax payable is $6,000 so we have to get the tax payable uh, $6,000 out of the income if it was $45,000 so we're, we're going to apply some rules for the $45,000 and then we could change these numbers to any income we want so I'm going to uh, to this page is a uh, a Python page or Python file. I'm using a uh, PyCharm. Uh, all the links have to download PyCharm or Sublime Text or I, any editor. You could use any editor, of course, uh, not matter. So let's just start. If the income as they give us, uh, we just going to use the forty-five thousand dollar to get the the tax payable six thousand dollar, and then we could change this to any uh, value we want. So in this case, tax pay able we could just set it equal to zero or or uh, just leave it as a comment it's really not matter to, to type it or the final or not it's quite not matter but there ain't no problem to define it so the first thing here so we're going to the bunch of conditions so here we're going to use the if condition so if the income is smaller or equal to ten thousand dollar the first ten thousand dollar of course in this case as you see here the rate is zero so the uh, the tax payable is going to stay uh, as we already defined so going to be zero lf the income it is smaller equal or smaller to twenty thousand dollar so here as you see uh the first ten thousand dollars, the second ten thousand uh, dollars. So the the addition of these two ten thousand dollars are twenty dollars, twenty thousand of course. So in this case, the tax able tax pay able is going to be equal what the income minus the ten thousand dollar multiplied by ten percentage so this is how to calculate the percentage so let's just do uh, brackets here so this is how you have to write it why because we in this in here uh, twenty thousand dollar we have to spread it to ten and ten so here the next the first ten thousand dollar just zero percentage on it and the second one it is ten percent percent so here if the income equal or smaller twenty thousand dollar so we have to subtract out of it the ten thousand dollar that has no rate zero rate and the second or the next ten thousand uh, dollar get the ten percentage or ten percent of the the rate so that's it why we here subtract the ten thousand dollar out of the income else if else if the income equal forty five thousand dollar or any number just not these two numbers not uh, smaller or equal ten thousand dollar or not smaller or equal twenty thousand dollar in this case any number in general beside these two uh, not counts in the in this case else all right in here let's just do a comment and say the first thousand dollar dollar like this in this case uh, the text pay able it is equal zero and the next 
ten thousand dollar it is dollar I don't know exactly so let's just do here a uh, dot like this cool dollar actually not really matter so next ten thousand dollar uh, in this case text able it is it should, it should be the ten thousand dollar multiply by the ten percent so ten thousand dollar multiply by ten percent like this divider by ten hundred the next ten thousand dollar we have to the text able should be rates in ten percent so that's why we multiply it by uh, 10 divided or 100 and the text or the remaining in this case remaining I'm sorry what is going to happen here the text able equal text able in this case we're gonna add this text able and add to it the remaining and the remaining in this case is 20 percent so we have to multiply the income by this case so what we're going to do so plus income and subtract the first this uh, the first 20 uh, ten thousand dollar and the next ten thousand dollar in general we have here to subtract the twenty thousand dollar the twenty thousand dollar the sum of these two uh conditions here as you see so the income subtract out of it twenty thousand dollar and then multiply it by twenty divider by a hundred to get the twenty uh, here twenty percent so uh in python we could just remove this text able and this text able it is this text able as you see right here the the second uh ten thousand dollar and the first one is zero so it's really not matter to write it so just remove it like this and add the uh the sum here or the symbol of addition next to text able so that's it so here all you gotta do just print the text able print text able if we run the program we have to get six thousand dollar because we uh here define that the income equal forty five thousand uh, dollar so as you see uh, the expect output is correctly as we already expect and we could make here a little message like the text able is like this text uh, able or text pay able is like this and rerun it so text pay able is six thousand dollar and also we could uh, the income give it to the user give us any number in this case so for instance let's just do integer and inst inside the integer we go in input and say what your income like this and could we here add by dollar by dollar so let me just do this by dollar as you see here what's your income by dollar if if it was uh, forty five thousand dollar and print enter so the text uh, that I should pay is six thousand dollar and else if it for instance ten thousand uh, dollar my text able is ten thousand dollars so the expect here should be zero so as you see here the the program ran out because it's zero as you see and if it's uh, twenty thousand dollar also going to run out because we it in here uh 
print it. So let's just print it again. Print text payable and also in this case text payable. Or just let's just copy this and pass it in here like this. I'm sorry because it's a little bit like this. So run it and type ten thousand dollar. So as you see here, zero. So instead of uh, C while true do this. So it's going to loop. So if the I have for instance fifty thousand dollar. So what is the text able? It is five hundred. And if my text a uh, income it is for instance twenty thousand dollar. So in this case I have to pay a thousand dollar. So we could here add a symbol of a dollar or something. Uh, I don't exactly know where where in the keyboard that symbol so I have to look out for it or just leave it for D now like this dollar so 45 again so D stands for the dollar uh, as I said I don't know where is the the K for that for the dollar so it's not matter uh, this is the exercise for today. I hope you get it. I hope you understand it. Just a bunch of steps. It's here just a basic exercise. Actually, you have to just uh, uh, much, uh, apply these rules. Just these rules. You have to apply them. And they give us an example to not make a mistake or something like this. As you see, you could just bring those two. Uh, 10,000 multiplied by zero, the second one multiplied by 10%. The 10% in this case, uh, when you say 10%, it means 100, uh, 10 divided by 100. This is the 10%, alright? Uh, and any number, the 40, the 20, also the same. It's also the same. 20 on 100. So, and so on. So, I hope you get it and understand everything and get what what I'm trying to, uh, to explain and see you for the next tutorials or next exercise don't forget to like and subscribe on our channel and all the links you're gonna find in the description and also really recommend you to go to our website the source code you're gonna find it there and peace out